I'm Staff Sergeant E.L. Craig. Defense Secretary Robert Gates, who retires at the end of the month, is in Singapore to attend the Shangri-La Summit for the last time. Gates says he believes a lot has been done to improve military relationships with Asian countries like Indonesia and Malaysia, among others. And although the U.S. relationship with China has had rough times, the secretary said his recent visit to China indicates the relationship is on track. Eight sailors assigned to USS Missouri are helping with recovery efforts in Joplin, Missouri, following last month's tornado. The sailors elected to take leave for a week to assist with the cleanup of their boat's namesake. Meanwhile, in Massachusetts, Governor De Deval Patrick has mobilized the National Guard after tornadoes ripped across the state Wednesday. The storms killed at least four people. Officials say about 25,000 customers are without power. The unpre unpredictability of a typhoon can add to the stress of a service member stationed overseas. Seaman Greg House went to Fleet Activities Sasebo and learns about typhoon readiness. A typhoon can hit at any time, bringing with it destructive winds and heavy rain. This is especially true during the days between June 1st and November 30th, better known as typhoon season. For service members and their families, having a typhoon preparedness kit is key. A typhoon ready kit has a few simple but very important items. Non-perishable foods, plenty of extra water, and a flashlight with extra batteries. This disaster kit is uh, usable throughout typhoon season as well as a new operation or any other kind of emergency where you have to protect yourself. With a typhoon ready kit and the information learned through command training and individual research, everyone can be prepared for this year's typhoon season. Stephen Greg House, Sasebo, Japan. Coming up ahead on Around the Services, we'll tell you if the massive E. coli outbreak in Europe is affecting military bases there. But first, gas and go. We head downrange with the 404th Aviation Support Battalion as they race against time to fuel up and save lives.